Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies, because I just got a message for one of my dear clients, and they want to know, should you take a man back after he cheats on you? Like, should a woman take a man back after he cheats? After he just, you know, broke her heart, disrespected her, you know, blew her trust, you know, just made her feel bad for stepping out. Should she take him back in that sense, you know? Or should she let the relationship go, you know, everything that she worked hard for, you know? And should she just let it go out the window because he cheated? Or should she keep it and work on it and stay with him and, you know, maybe they can fix it? Or should she leave, you know, and just say, you know, whatever, let's just start. I'm just want to start over and, you know, be alone for a while or start something with somebody else or whatever. Where should she go from this situation? OK, so should she leave? Should she go if the man cheats? OK, so ladies, I'm going to jump right into this and I'm going to just give you a few reasons why you should not take a man back after he cheats on you. OK, all right. So number one, number one is. He has forever destroyed your trust. Now, when I say he has forever destroyed your trust, I mean, in that sense, when you initially trust a man, that means that you look at him and you say, you know what? I, 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 I look at your loyalty and I hold it up and, you know, I give you the benefit of the doubt that you will not hurt me because you have not shown me any signs, you know. Uh, I trust you. You know, you know what trust is. You know, I trust you. You know, you, you, you trust that man. So when that man, you know, cheats on you, you know, how can you as a woman ever forget that? You know, that hurt, that pain, that agony, you know, what he put you through when, when you found out that you were doing everything right for this man and you loved him and you gave him everything. And then he turned around, and he stepped out on you and had sex with somebody or had a whole nother relationship or was buying a woman different gifts and stuff and hanging out with her and showing her off and doing things with her and flying her out, taking her on trips and all kinds of stuff. You know, he was doing all kinds of stuff with this other girl, the same stuff that he was doing with you. Or maybe he might've been treating her even better than he was treating you, you know, should you take him back? You know, so when a man destroys your trust, you know, even if you guys do get back together and everything, you know, you're working on it. You as a woman, it's going to be hard because I hear a lot of cases where the woman, you know, if that, if that does happen and she takes the man back, the woman will have a hard time letting that go. You know, you may say, yes, you know, I, I'll forgive him and I, you know, I can let it go. But can you really, really ask yourself, can you really let it go? Because a lot of times you can't. A lot of times, every time you look at that man, you think of him like, dang, you know, and now you get to thinking, now you're suspicious now because he showed you that what he's capable of, that he can step out on you. So now you're like, dang, like, like I'm suspicious now because every time, you know, you go out, now I'm thinking where you at, what you doing, who you with, because you destroyed my trust already. So what's going to stop you from doing it again? You know, you fool me. Why? Shame on, shame on you. Whatever, however it go, you know, Wh whoever the shame on is all. Look, you fool me. You know what I'm saying? And I can't be fooled no more. Period. You know what I'm saying? So whatever it, however it goes, you know, you should not let a man, you know, do you like that. You know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or just hurt you and think that it's okay to just come back. You know, because once you forgive a man, you know, and, and you have him just come back to you. You know, basically, you know, you're showing him that, hey, you know, I'm OK with what you're doing. And, you know, I, I, I love you too much to let you go. And, you know, I'll, I'll basically get into this a little later on. But, you know, you're you're basically giving off that it's OK kind of kind of vibe, you know, so I'll get to that a little later. But, you know, you should not you know, take a man back because th when he destroys your trust, the trust is everything. If it's no trust, it's no us. When he destroys your trust, it's like you will never be able to look at him the same. Every time you look at him, you're going to be like, damn, are you, is it another woman? Like every time he tells you, hey, I'm going out with my boys. Hey, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. You're going to be like, are you really doing that? Because you hurt me before. You know, and a lot of women, they can't take that. You know, a lot of people in general can't take that, you know, because you always going to be constantly thinking in the back of your mind. You know, so that's number one. You know, he destroys the trust. Number two, number two is basically you are encouraging his behavior, right? So when I say you're encouraging his behavior, I mean, 
you are kind of like I said before, you're letting it be okay, be okay. When you forgive somebody and there's no consequences for their actions, meaning if a man cheats on you and it's nothing, it's no consequences, you just took him back. Oh, baby, it's okay. You know, I, you know, I forgive you. You know, what does that tell the man? That tells the man, oh, damn. So I cheated on you and you stayed and there was no consequences and you was okay with it. And I'm still here and you still going to talk to me like nothing ever happened. And it just swept under the rug. So what's going to stop that man from cheating again? Because now he knows like, damn, okay, I cheated on you already. I can cheat on you again and nothing's going to happen. It's no consequences for my actions. So meaning that, you know, you're encouraging my behavior, you know, as a man, because if, if you cheating on me, I mean, if I'm, if I'm cheating on you and then you in turn take me back, now I'm thinking, dang, you know, if I cheat on her again, is she still going to take me back? Probably because she took me back so easily. She's not going to go nowhere. She don't respect herself. She don't care about herself. You know, so why should I care about herself? She didn't, she didn't set no boundaries around her to say, Hey, you know, I'm not okay with this. I don't tolerate this, whatever, you know? So, so that man is going to in turn be like, Hmm, he going to sit back like, damn, you know, so shit, you know, maybe uh, 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 another few months from now, another week from now, if I do it again, what's going to happen? Nothing. Okay. And then you take me back again. You know, say he cheats on you again and you take him back over and over and over again. You know, you're definitely encouraging his behavior when you keep taking the man back over and over and over and over again. Cause that's what usually happens, you know, in a lot of times in when relationships in certain situations where women will take the man back over and over and over again after she forgave him and he, he cried and he begs her back and he, baby, I'll never do it again. And then he started acting right. And yeah, then he went back to cheating and went back to, you know, you know, he only acted right for a certain period of time. Then all of a sudden he right back to the same stuff, you know? So now you're looking at him like, dang, like, how do I keep getting hurt? Like, you know, and then that's, that's destroying your trust. Because now you can't trust him because he kept he kept hurting you over and over again. So you can't trust him. And now it's like you don't even respect yourself after a while because it's like you're allowing him to walk all over you and disrespect you in your face. And you keep taking him back, taking him back, taking him back, knowing that he keeps cheating on you, knowing that he doesn't care about you, knowing that he doesn't respect you. So you got to keep doing what he wants to do. And you're just allowing it to happen. And you didn't set no boundaries for yourself to say, hey, look. You're not finna do me no type of way. Either you're gonna be with me and only me, or you can go. And that's the problem that a lot of women have. Like, they don't let the man go. You know, they don't give that man the ultimatum and say, look, either you're gonna be here or there. Now pick one, because you're not finna do both. You know, a lot of women, they'll say, hey, you know, uh, he cheated on me. You know, they might, they might be upset and then they'll take the man back because they care about him or they feel like, you know, they invested so much time and so much energy and effort into the relationship. And it's been a long time. And maybe she's been with him for five years, six years. You know, she, she, they got, they got kids and stuff together and a house and all that. And she don't want to leave him. So she'll accept and tolerate all of his nonsense and, and, and disrespect, you know? So. Unfortunately, a lot of women get into those situations, but I'm telling you and the women that's watching, you know, you need to not let a man, you know, think that it's okay to run in and out your life like that, you know, because when you forgive a man, and you're so forgiving, you know, you're, you're showing him it's okay. You're showing him, oh, I forgive you, you know, and then he's like, okay, you know, shit. If I, so if you, so if I do it again, what you going to do? Nothing. So, cause nothing was done the first time, you know? So it's kind of like this. It's kind of like, it's kind of like you look at a job, right? You look at a job. If that job, if you're late, say you're say you're five minutes late, you know, to your job. You're like, oh shit, I was late. You know, you walk in the job, nothing happens. You know, they don't say nothing. You're like, okay, well now I'm next, next day I'm ten minutes late, nothing happens. Okay, next time I'm thirty minutes late, y'all still not saying nothing. So I'm just late to work and y'all don't say nothing. Okay, next time I'm an hour late, y'all don't say nothing. Okay, next time, next time I'm not even coming in. You know, by the time you know it. And I come in when I want to come in and my job still don't say nothing. So, you know, but what if that same job, what if you was five minutes late and they wrote you up? You'll be like, damn, you'll be mad. You'll be like, damn, why, why they rob me up? But then you'll, you would respect that job. You, I bet you again, I bet you will never be late again. I bet you, you will be on time every time after that. Because you like, damn, this job set that standard to say, Hey, I'm not playing with you. I said, I said after five minutes, you are late. So if you lay after five minutes, you late, you know, and we go and we gonna write and we gonna write you up, you know. So 
in that sense, you know, you're going to be thinking like, damn, okay, I can't be late no more. Now I'm in check now, you know. Now that, that job has put me in check to say, and that job has made me respect that job's boundaries to say, hey, you know, and I, I know that I can't get over on this job. You know, I know that I can't, you know, be late and do what I want to do because this job is not going to allow me to do that because this job not playing with me because they will get rid of me. And that's how a lot of times women need to be in a lot of these situations where it's like, you know, you put the boundaries, you set the boundaries, you say, look, either it's going to be this or that. So it's going to be consequences behind your actions. You know, the consequence behind your actions was you got rolled up after your five minutes, you know, of being late, you know, so your consequence is of, you know, however, the way you deal with it, you know, at least let him know that, you know, it was not okay, you know, because if there's no consequences, you take him back, he going to think it's, it's going to, he going to think it's okay. And you give somebody an inch, they're going to take a mile, you know, you give somebody a little bit, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to go the whole strip, you know? So my advice to any woman is if you do, you know, take him back. And there's all cases where, you know, men do change, you know, men do change. And I'm not saying that don't, no man changes, you know, men do change. And, you know, a man could cheat one time and he could never cheat on you again. It happens. You know what I'm saying? But more, more than likely, once a man already cheated on you and, you know, he feels like it's okay. You know, a lot of times, you know, he feels like, he going to keep doing it because whatever was stopping him, whatever was making him cheat before, it might make him cheat again. Whatever void was what that he was trying to fill, you know, it's still not filled, you know? So I just feel like my best advice to any woman watching this is, you know, if I understand in some cases where that man might, you know, change, but more than likely, you know, that man will not change. So if a man cheats on you, you know, I would just nip it in the bud and just move on because obviously he don't respect you. Obviously, he don't think that you would ever leave. Obviously, he don't. He takes you as a as a joke, you know, and he doesn't respect you. He doesn't care enough about you to 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 want to be with you and only you and love you and only you. So move on, you know, because hey, there's plenty of men that will give you and will be faithful to you and will give you everything that you deserve. You know, you don't have to deal with that. So. You know, and I mean, if you choose to stay with a man, you know, and, and I don't know your situation, if your situation works out for you and you stay with him and everything is cool and you know, hey, you know, but for the average woman watching, I would just say, don't even deal with it. Don't even put yourself through it. So I hope you enjoy, I hope you enjoyed this video and to the next video.